With the breach of three levees protecting New Orleans, the landscape of the city has changed dramatically, tragically, and perhaps irreversibly. There is now over 25 feet of water where there was once city streets and thriving neighborhoods. I hate the way they portray us in the media. If you see a black family, it says they're looting. If you see a white family, it says they're looking for food. And you know it's been five days because most of the people are black and even for me to complain about I would be a hypocrite because I've tried to turn away from the teacher TV because it's too hard to watch. I've even been shopping before even giving a donation. So now I'm calling my business manager right now to see what what is the biggest amount I can give and and just to imagine if I was if I was down there and those are those are my people down there. So anybody out there that wants to do anything that we can help with with the setup, the way America is set up to help the uh, uh, the poor, the, the black people, the uh, the less well off as slow as possible. I mean, this is Red Cross is doing everything they can. We, we already realize a lot of the people that could help are at war right now fighting another way. And they, they they've given them permission to go down and shoot us. And subtle, but in even many ways more profoundly devastating, is the lasting damage to the survivors' will to rebuild and remain in the area. The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please call. In the past few days, America and people have been stepping up, have been stepping up to donate money, to do all they can to help people in New Orleans and all over. Please do what you can. Send water, trucks, whatever you can. Do what you can and, and help one another. Uh, save lives. And we all are one. And the people in New Orleans need us. Mississippi need us. Please, 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 please. Do all you can to help, 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 help. Help, help, help. Thank you. Who will be a guest in your tent? Certainly not the ones who don't want to repent and keep giving guns to the poorest of our nation's sons. Who is going to call you by name? No confusing trinity for preachers. Says that every time, every time opens up the eyes of the blind. Who will be the one in his bed? Certainly not the ones who put the thorns on his head and wished him dead while he took his daily bread. Which one is of value to who you? For the one who renews it and keeps the peace Proving shoddy, sweetest taboo Give it to me, give it to me, the sweetest of sweet Give it to me, give it to me oh, Give it to me, give it to me, the sweetest Welcome. Welcome, my purple people. I forgot completely about the SST review. So we're going to take a step back before we take a step forward. And let's talk about SST. My purple people, who is God? What does God mean to you? Our dearly beloved Prince Rogers Nelson felt that was a very important question to ask oneself day in, day out. 
And it definitely seems to be the question he wanted the nation to ask itself in the times following Hurricane Katrina. The devastation, the loss of life, and then, of course, all the religious condemnation that the hurricanes were caused by two men wanting to grab each other's penises and just have a great old time. So, fuck those people. Challenge their hearts and help out is what seemed to be why Prince put out SST. Which I will show one more time right here. So this is only ten and a half minutes of music. And uh, I'm just going to give some information about it and then uh, roll some, um, some clips of the devastation of Hurricane Katrina with the music that Prince sold to help the relief. So if you're ready, let's go. Let's go way down south. So, SST. This was released on September 3rd in 2005. It was first available as a download on the now long defunct npgmusicclub.com within 24 hours of its recording. Uh, and Prince was just watching the footage like all of us and uh, put together a song the next day, had it available uh, for sale as a download. Uh, two days after the download was first released, a bundled version came which had SST Brand New Orleans, which is the uh, extended vamp of SST, and then a copy of Mavis Staples' um, You Will Be Moved, which was released on 1-800-NEW-FUNK off one of those two records that Prince did with Mavis Staples. So, and then it was eventually put on CD, which I have right here, uh, in October of, uh, October 25th of 2005. I found my copy, I want to say, God, 2008 maybe, 2009 maybe, at Amoeba Records in Berkeley, California. And um, I was just like, whoa, what is this? This doesn't look like a bootleg because I've gotten fooled before, but <laughs> I'm not fooling myself. Those bootlegs, any bootlegs of Prince are freaking awesome. But uh, I was like, this is awesome. I've never even heard of this. And I was trying to stay on top of Prince things at that time. And um, picked it up, and uh, my only complaint of SST is that it's, it's not a full record, but that wasn't the whole point. Uh, the song was recorded on September 2nd, 2005 at Paisley Park while watching uh, the television footage, as I said. Uh, story goes, Prince was listening to Sade while watching the early reports, and um, Sweetest Taboo was one of the tunes, obviously, that he would listen to when listening to Sade for any extended period of time, and that kind of inspired him. SST stands for Sea Surface Temperature, which is a method of forecasting hurricanes. It also stands for Sade's Sweetest Taboo. Uh, all the proceeds went to Hurricane Relief. Now, this thing charted. I mean, people were buying it. It reached number one on iTunes on the R&B chart, and it reached only number 111 on Billboard um, because Billboard wouldn't count the downloads. They would only count the CD. So, which do you think, which do you think uh, more were made? The CD or the downloaded MP3? Yeah, exactly. Um, so, just quick, quick little background information. Uh, Prince personally has history in New Orleans. His father was from New Orleans and his parents were from New Orleans. And um, Katrina, if you don't remember, or if you are too young to remember, or if you are trying to forget, I'm sorry to remind you, but we should remind ourselves of the good times and the bad times. Katrina, it raged from August 23rd in 2005 to August 31st, uh, August 29th was the deadliest where, you know, 1,600 people were killed in New Orleans alone. Uh, over 2,000 people were killed in total as far as it was totaled and over $125 billion in damages. Now, you know that's accurate. The death toll, probably not, but the, <laughs> the property damage that's uh, uh, worth it to those counting, of course it is. But I digress. Um, 
the levy, which was a huge part of the controversy of why New Orleans was hit so devastatingly during this hurricane, uh, apparently it was built with shorter steel pilings to save money by the Army Corps of Engineers. Now, no one's been found liable. Litigations have gone nowhere. No one's at fault, according to the law. Uh, but that is what happened. Mississippi was hit the second hardest. And, uh, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of people were displaced. Uh, 35,000 at least went to Houston, Texas. 24,000 at least went to Mobile, Alabama. And even 6,000 people at least went to Chicago. Um, and that was just the beginning of, you know, even more rough times ahead. Uh, Hurricane Rita came through, you know, just in September, 18th to the 26th, and it just caused even more devastation down in the southeast. People are still affected by this, and the rebuilding of New Orleans is still underway, and it's still controversial, and, uh, you know, call it what you want. If it was an act of God, you know, uh, how do you rebuild? If it was caused by man messing with the act of God, how do we rebuild? Some people never do, and Prince wanted to do his, his part. And part of that is challenging just the hearts of everybody to help with SST. Who will be a guest in your tent? Certainly not the ones who don't want to repent and keep giving guns to the poorest of our nation's sons. SST is just really, really great little tune. It's a little churchy, but that's the audience that he is trying to challenge the hearts of. He wants to challenge the Christian charity in Christians, and he also wants to challenge the hypocrisy of these giant southern tent evangelists who are not helping, suffering just as much, but pointing the finger. And he's, like I said, Prince is just challenging people's hearts with this song. Who will be a guest in your tent? You know, certainly not the ones who don't want to repent. Of course not. Why would, why would you help non-Christians? But then again, who will be a guest in your tent? Certainly not. Well, who will be a guest in your tent? Everyone, anyway. Would you let them die in the rain? An endless war of poverty or a hurricane? another groove like Sade's sweetest taboo really recommend checking this song out if you haven't just check out the lyrics they're just they're great they're to the point uh, they're really really lovely and it's all again this song is all about helping it's all about people giving it's all about caring that people are suffering and caring that people are homeless and caring that people need shelter from the storm and the next cut is Brand New Orleans. And Brand New Orleans is just, it's just the padding. It's just to sell more. It's just to get to give people more incentive to get the thing. SST as itself was available, and then a couple days later, it's available with Brand New Orleans, and then it's put out on CD with SST Brand New Orleans. It's one tune. It's just an extended jam, and what a jam. It's one of those 
Ah, it's over. I have to restart it. Not I have to restart it, I get to restart it, but boy, it'd be greater if it just kept on going. Scandalous Sex Suite, can't wait to talk about that one when we get there. That's one of those, as my philosophy professor said in college, there are such things as five hour orgasms. He said they're called Wagner operas. <laughs> Tristan and old in particular, I have yet to experience this, but when it comes to Prince and the jams, I understand what he meant by that in my own way. But Brand New Orleans is just a, just a funky jam. A lot of keyboard, a little bit of guitar, just some fun noise all over. Just that doo doo, doo doo, doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. doo, -doo, doo, -doo. kicks ass. Super cool little funky jam and that's the tune. That's the tune. I'm lost. That's all I had. That's all I had. This is long as one more deal. Katrina, it's it proving to be a death. It plus it two or three more bodies around there where I stayed at. Laying, laying right there in the mud. You guys, you take care of your boys, okay? Okay. Katrina is proving to be a deadly storm. So I don't want to talk about Kanye. I really don't. I mean, you watch him, it speaks volumes. Yes, he stole the Dave Chappelle's Block Party movie. That performance was amazing. But being a great performer is all about believing your own hype. Believing the hype. Either the hype in yourself, oh, they're going to go crazy when I do this, even if they're not going crazy, but they're going crazy. Or you believe the hype that they are going crazy, so you're going to perform more. So being a great performer is all about believing hype and it can come from the exterior hype oh you're goading me on oh, okay or I'm such a genius I'm such a genius I'm such a genius great statements that are remembered through history do not involve uh, mm, uh, no matter how passionate you are no matter how upset you are I'm sorry but Kanye being exposed now he was exposed then as well, but the clip of George Bush doesn't care about black people was isolated from the rest of his rambling statement. And George W. Bush was a terrible president. You know, I don't know if he's an evil human being like the orange one is, but the Republican Party manipulated the hell out of mass out of masses of people. You know, don't look back, <laughs> don't look back in a good way, just because we're in such a way now. But, you know, yeah, that clip just speaks, it speaks for itself. A lot of people have commented on it. Uh, good on Chris Tucker for keeping his head. Uh, Mike Myers, you know, you're a terrible actor and uh, it shows. <laughs> I'm just I'm just taking a rib out of Mike Myers now. But uh you know my favorite part of the Kanye is I'm gonna go talk to my business partners and see how much we can give. Motherfucker, you didn't already give? How did you not already give? If you're uh if you spent all the time to get to where you are, to to put yourself on fucking television, to think that you're gonna say what you're gonna say. You just don't know how you're gonna say it because you're a genius and you're just gonna off the top of your head. 
you know, the confidence of the genius wasn't there yet. This was that turning point to Crazy Kanye. My opinion, uh, which I am entitled to. And I'm not giving it so that I can sway yours. But I am sitting here talking about Prince. And um, this involves Hurricane Katrina, which involves SST. And no, Kanye never collaborated with Prince. And I'm thankful every day. <laughs> every day for that. But, um, yeah. It's just bullshit. Bull shit. I need to get more change. Well, it looks like I used all my loose change uh, practicing the song and uh, cursing up a storm. God damn it. And keeps peace. Swear jar. I can swear. God! Fucking damn it! To the oldest of our nation's sons. in for you but yes why would you go on a show that's a relief fund begging people basically begging people to help and you haven't even helped yet your presence is not the gift that you think it is our existence is not the prize that we hand out as we walk around this planet so that's my little rant on that and yeah that's it it's just the two tracks sst brand new orleans there is zero booklet to this i thought it was really cool to um have planet earth follow not too long after this record and um have just more environmental ish uh concerns and and uh interest and energy because if God is the creator, we must respect, if anything, the creation. And as created in God's image, we can create. Now, creating destruction is also creation. But creating solutions is most definitely creation. SST, really great, really great little piece of music that... Um, it just shows why Prince is, was such an amazing artist. Uh, to put together, such, I mean, it is just a jam, but it's just a jam. And it's him, just jamming. And it's awesome. Uh, the guitar parts, the keyboards, it just shows what kind of musician Prince is. And I love that stuff like this is in his canon. Uh, it just makes it that much more uh, special and real. And, and uh, I'm... It makes you feel really close to musicians when you just hear them play. When they're just, just playing. And when you see that their heart is in such a great place, uh, it just makes you feel even better. So, until next time, if you don't already know, we have news next. So, who is God? And what does God mean to you? Well, Jehovah... It's definitely all over our purple one moving into the beginning of the 21st century. And this is a record that I was so into 
and I still am, and I can't wait to talk about news. So until next time, my purple people, say a little prayer for those who are in need, but follow it with a little bit of money. If you believe that you can really help, then you should help. And hey, I will do my part when somebody looks me in the eyes and reminds me that I need to. And I appreciate that every time. So from me to you, from you to me, love for one another. Catch you on that flip side of the job side. Later. Love for one another. We shall overcome. Track, just to talk about SST song is very simple in terms of its harmonic and uh, arrangement it's a uh, it's an F so it's an F major to a D minor back to an F major to a C major to a D minor to a G7 but one more time I'll put them up here we've got who will be a guest in your tent? Certainly not the ones who don't want to repent and keep giving guns to the poorest of our nation's sons. Boom, 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 boom. Run with it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> go, go be more right in your own way. Uh, 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 uh. Break it down, y'all.